All right, this first boat test, where I could conceivably sink or not make it to my destination from running out of electricity or various other things, it reminds me of something I wanted to talk about uh, that I have to repeat kind of a lot to people when they say comments or ask questions with certain, uh, certain presumptions built in. So I get a lot of questions kind of along the lines of, why don't I do things more like other, other people who are makers, you know, on YouTube or online or stuff like that? Because most of the stuff I do is very different, I do things in a very different way than most of the other people. And here's the reason. It's because, generally speaking, when people ask that question, they refer to someone else who is making things for fun. Now, I don't mean to say that's any less important or, you know, less excellent. It's a different thing. Like, I often watch people who make stuff for fun and I get lots of ideas and tips and stuff. Like, it's a very cool thing, but it's very different than what I do. Like, uh, very seldom do I make a proof of concept anymore. Like, all the stuff I build, I need it to work. And not just work for a test where I can, you know, kind of dress it up and get a video of it and say, wow, look, it works amazingly well. And I have done stuff like that, and I do stuff like that occasionally. Although, even then, I, I don't really dress it up. I'm just like, this is how it works, and that's it. Um, but, you know, it's one thing for someone to go uh, out into the woods and build a shelter, or for someone to, to build a jet-powered boat that they can test once and be like, wow, I went like 30, 40 miles an hour, ah! And, you know, it takes like half an hour to set thing up and get it all set up perfectly and then you need perfect conditions. No, like I built this boat and I need it to last for years and I need it to last through some pretty serious conditions and I need to I need it to work. I need it to do the stuff. I need to I need it to be a very utilitarian piece of equipment. And I need to be able to put my kids on it, go out into the ocean and know that if a storm shows up, I'm going to be able to get home with my kids without a disaster. So, you know, that's, that's the major difference between what I do and what a lot of other makers do. And uh, you can kind of imagine it like this. Like, say, say you're watching someone who goes out to their garage to build something. Imagine if they did not leave their garage at the end of their building the stuff. They live there. Or imagine the, the guy who goes out to the woods to build a shelter. And, you know, maybe stay in it a night or two to test it out. No, imagine that guy doesn't have anywhere to go back to. He doesn't go back to a house when he turns the camera off. That's the situation I'm in. Like, and I, I, you know, I'm not complaining. I chose that. That's what I want to do. It's just different than what a lot of other people are doing. So like when I turn off the camera, I am still on the island where I've been building stuff. I'm like 20 miles away from the nearest town. Uh, I mean, there's tiny little towns, but the nearest, you know, sort of major town. And I like it that way. I like that a lot. I like the adventure of being on my own, out in the open, totally reliant on the things I'm building. Like, uh, you know, I'm not just surviving, and I'm not just building inventions. I'm building inventions to survive. And uh, that's, a, that's a concept that I think gets lost a lot of the times in uh, the way people think about inventions. I'm, obviously, a lot of people who watch this channel already know what I'm talking about. But, you know, I, I often have conversations with people. Well, some, I, was, I was talking with someone recently about doing a TV show, you know, a TV production company, which I talk to a lot. Um, and, you know, they were, they were trying to figure out how to classify what a Jamie show would be. You know, is it, is it an adventure show, a survival show, an invention show? And I'm like, no, it's all of those things. I'm, I'm building inventions to survive on this adventure. It's not, you can't just cut it up into one thing. Um, and I, I love that I'm getting to build inventions that really do stuff and are integral to my survival. 
And, you know, I've also done inventions that are toys and, you know, novelty kind of things. And those are really fun and I love doing that stuff too. But, uh, you know, it's just, you know, doing, doing inventions for survival is taking like those toy inventions and just going like eight steps further. Not that I'm saying I'm never going to do more toy inventions, because I, I do really love doing, uh, you know, just pure engineering to figure out the, the, con the concepts of stuff, like get things conceptually working. But I also really love, you know, figuring out how to get things to work on a long term, yeah, like on a bigger time scale, in rough conditions, in, you know, unknown wild conditions. Like today I left this morning. Not in, you know, I, I knew the forecast said there'd be a headwind that was like 25 mile an hour headwind. But I was kind of hoping I'd beat it. <laughs> but no, I, I mean, a third of the way here, I ran right into it. Anyway, so that that's something that comes up a lot in conversation. So I just thought I'd throw that out there. Inventions to do real things. Okay, I'm going to keep driving here.